So I placed two orders for Ohio made Blue Seal B playing cards um, and I received them. One order is completely fake, China made. The other order is Ohio made. Let's look at the difference and compare. You can see right off the bat these tucks, there's no collar in the B, there's no gold in the cheap one. Uh, China made um, even on the leaf work on the sides. You can see the gold just there and look at this tuck uh, Tuck seal. It's just like a cheap sticker. That's falling apart um, The cars they have this high glossy shine um, They fan like garbage No air cushion finish obviously with the real bees um, They are air cushion finish shout out James full boat dealer for hooking me up with the real ones. So yeah beware What is up folks, Jorge Anito here. Thanks for stopping by and welcome back. Live all the way from Ohio. Oh, he didn't just shout out Ohio. Has anything good come from Ohio? Well, we did make blue seals. We're not worthy, we're not. So my former video that I posted, the deck review on the Madison Chateau Advocates Private Reserve Strangers playing cards that that paragraph worth of words, that, that is the name of the deck. Um, I did a deck review on that, the last video. And somebody mentioned in the comments a uh, little demonstration, just some stuff I've been practicing on. Um, I included those things in the intro. And uh, shout out to Capel. He made mention of the Ace production that I did at the beginning. And I wanted to, this has been on my mind for a long time. I just never got around to doing it. But it's basically the idea of doing tabled productions with a slip cut something other than the Benzai spin out move because I see and I just see this so frequently and big name people uh, Daniel Roy I, I'm not afraid uh, Daniel Roy one of many doing Benzai spin out moves for like a, a four ace production or four of a kind production and consecutive just one Benzai after another and I'm thinking like stop after one, uh, I mean, you know, it's after about, you know, the second Benzai, you can see what's happening on the third and the fourth one. You clearly see that you, you're thumbing it off the top or, you know, with the index. So anyway, um, yeah, I this is just my response to basically what are some alternatives that you could do with a slip cut as far as um, in the way of... Productions table productions, and so I came up with four of them, and we'll just run through them real brief. This will be a short video, so um, I'm going to actually Play that little piece of footage. It's like 30 seconds long just so you have a, a frame of reference um, Of that little ace cutting routine. I did like I said, it's a half a minute long Let's check that out first then we'll get into these productions table work and stuff like the slip cut you know I always think borderless cards are the way to go they really facilitate the deception however for this video I will be using bordered cards leave a comment below if you remember the bee stingers uh, theory 11 I know they didn't make a lot of these but I think they're still floating around out there uh, really cool deck of bordered bees anyway so the first thing that I did was a dead cut simulation. I don't even have any aces out. It really doesn't matter though. And that's just as simple as this. You know, after some false shuffles and cuts, I think I did the, the zero shuffle in there, right? So a dead cut would be, you know, you're cutting right to the ace. That's not it. But I'm doing that by means of slip cut. And I just did something like that. I think I dropped the top half on it, peeled it out from the center. You don't have to do that. But I think that's I think that works. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, you know, obviously if you if you're moving around with the deck, you're shuffling it, and then you go into this cut. I think it works. Uh, I, I think it works. 
So the second production was after some shuffles and cuts, I do a slip cut and I just throw the card quite literally into my other hand. It's nothing, I mean, it looks fancier, I think, than what it is. I'm just doing a slip cut and as I come, you know, come across this way, I release with the index um, and the card just comes sailing to the other hand. Uh, display it, whatever. Uh, that was the second one. So the third one, I, for the life of me, do not know the origin of this, but I know that Ricky J does this a lot for an in-depth tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description to this video. Run and check it out if you're interested. Um, but it looks like that. You know, and just uh, really briefly, you're doing a slip cut, you're coming under the deck, and you're applying pressure with the left hands packet, and you're just rotating the right hands packet upward and you're just revolving this card just kind of like that um yeah it's pretty simple so this last slip cut alternative to the benzai uh, something i saw originally on assad's channel 52 cards um years ago he does this a different way so you could check out what he has to say um this is all i did so i just got a slip cut there's a break i turned the the left hand packet over to reveal Something that's not an ace, right? Only to flip it over and bam, there it is. Uh, but in the heat of the moment, you know, for the fourth production, it, it works good. Wow, what was I doing there? And it's just simple as getting a slip cut, maintaining a break, turning the left hand packet over, and then just turning that over. Um, that's it. Um, that's it. So there you guys have it. There's just some some ideas that I had pertaining to the slip cut. I wanted some alternatives to the Benzai. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, what would you use as a slip? I'm just you know concerned about what can be done with a slip cut. I'm open to any subject any suggestions. Let me know uh, what you use the slip cut for as far as productions. Shoot out some ideas. Uh, let's get a discussion going. That's my cat out there. I guess he's wanting in. Um, I better go feed him. Jorge Anito here. Have a good weekend. And uh, be blessed.